Less than two years ago, Paul Saladino, aka Rat Boy, and we could also call him Punk Shiladino, was promoting a vegan diet with a mouthful of spinach. After no more than a year of plagiarizing Frank Tofano, as well as several others, he has copied his way onto the Joe Rogan experience, a shill's wet dream. Anything that comes out of this clown's mouth can be found from someone else. If he says it, someone else had the idea before him. Because of this, I am offering monetary reward for any of you that post or share the truth about this scumbag. Just email me and I will PayPal you, you know, several dollars per comment or share. In fact, go over to that podcast right now and post a comment for Frankie Boy. If you need evidence, I've made three videos now about Paul Saladino plagiarizing my information. Those other people including Rhonda Patrick, Chris Masterjohn, Ray Pete, Jason Fung. Paul has no ideas of his own and you will always find anything he has to say from someone else. Plus, he goes along with the mainstream narrative on you know what that's keeping us locked inside. Paul being a doctor still dumbfounds me because I can't imagine how they didn't find his plagiarism at some point throughout his many years of medical school. Now he has cut his teeth, learned the basics and advanced knowledge of the carnivore diet from my YouTube videos. There are direct instances of word for word plagiarism on different podcasts and videos that I've went over in the past but I'll list some of the obvious stuff. And to be very clear, guys, plagiarism is simply not crediting the person. Like, he could have said all of those things and just mentioned my name, but no, he wanted to pass it off as his own high and mighty intelligence. Intelligence is created from partially ideas from other people and your own creativity. But if you don't have your own creativity, you're just copying people, which is what he's doing. My podcast name, I came up with the Perfected Health Podcast. One week later, he has the Fundamental Health Podcast. Book cover of myself split in half, he does the same thing, and actually changed his book cover from the original one because of all the blowback he got for copying me. The title of which he copied from Jason Fung's book, The Obesity Code. I've had a hygiene company for years, Frankie's Naturals. Oh look, he's suddenly selling crap garbage from Native Deodorant. I sell the most affordable, quality grass-fed meats online. He's selling you pus-filled testicles from various companies. I launched my supplement line. Two months later, what a surprise, he's selling the same supplements. And he copied the logo of his supplements from Epic Bone Broth. He sees me eat honey on a day of eating video. He joins the Honey Diet Council. I make a video on histamine intolerance. He discovers the same solution two months later. And that's just the stuff I found out about. Who knows how much of my stuff he's copied. Who knows about these other people who for some reason won't stand up for themselves. It's very clear his only motive is money. Who else would be okay with stealing from everyone whilst at the same time having every opportunity handed to him? But uh, that's what these scumbag elite people do. They steal people's ideas and use their connections, their higher up media influence to twist the message, then make a ton of money selling their bullshit products. I brought the knowledge and ideas of nutrient density to the carnivore community, preached about it for years, then they banned me from all carnivore forums, all media platforms, and put this hack doctor in my place with my ideas and my information. Just to cover his supplement company briefly, because it's a comical astroturfing operation. I was laughing. I can't even believe he's making money on this. He's working with Ancestral Supplements. They produce his product, slap his label on it, and charge 20 more bucks for it. It's identical to their products. It's just more expensive. I was actually offered a similar deal by the owner of that company, but I declined it because they were selling organ combinations that don't actually work, such as blood, bones, and collagen. Uh, plus, they use liver as a filler and everything and are probably giving people vitamin A toxicity to some degree. On top of this, this complete dirtbag sued me for slandering him and I'm out $10,000 in lawyer fees. He did lose the case because he's an idiot and it was a bullshit case, but I still spent a large portion of my savings because of this asshat. You guys probably remember like six, seven months back, I was looking at replacing this 
piece of junk for Taurus, and that's where that money went. Uh, I may do a whole video on that court case if you guys would like to hear it, but why is Rat Boy able to get away with all of this? These elite people, what they have in common is they're all members of secret societies, and most of them are parasites, you know, making money off of people as opposed to providing a service to people. And he's basically a high-level government agent for the carnivore diet. He's making a bunch of other secret society members a lot of money. It's partially why he doesn't really own anything himself. He's always vouching for other people, and he gets a cut. That's why he's so popular, because he agrees to make other people money. Promoting his garbage products, collagen powder waste, conventional eggshells, under the guise of health. They don't give a shit if you get a little sick from a supplement. The whole carnivore diet has been a high-level plan by elite secret society members to pad their bank accounts, sell feedlot meats, sell animal products. If you've noticed, all carnivore influencers are either ex-military, ex-vegan, and then there's like one celebrity. Of course, they aren't going to rat each other out. It's like asking a cop to put himself in jail and stop getting paid his salary. There's no reason he would do it. These people are getting paid a lot of money. They're famous. They have a great family life. They just have to hop in front of a camera and lie for 10 minutes a day. And that's all they have to do. If you've noticed, these people show no aspects of their personal life. They don't do days of eating. They don't, they don't do anything that I do on my channel. They put no effort into it and they just get propped up on these platforms because they're selling garbage. What I find hilarious is all of you gang stalkers harassing my personal life. When all I've done is critique the products they sell and them stealing my information as well as their incorrect information. And then you guys attack me for being gay, which I'm not, and other aspects of my personal life, but this dude is dancing in the gym with a bunch of hairy, shirtless apes. Paul's hanging out with Aubrey Marcus, who's a known man lover, and the three of them are probably sweating in Joe Rogan's sauna. Or four of them. Paul repeated a bunch of my information on the Ben Greenfield podcast, and Ben does have some peculiar friends, as well as clothing choices. All right, here we go. Ben Greenfield. Yo, come on in, my man. Luke Story. Good to see you, bro. You too, man. How are you doing? How are you doing? Great. Good. All right, so. Man, cool place. Well, thanks, dude. You guys can call me gay all you want. I've never done anything half as gay as that. As much as I don't like being in this position, I have to do my best to defend myself and point this out because a lot of the information he's taken, all of these ideas are stuff I've worked for years for. I've spent most of my professional life creating those ideas and for someone just to take them from me and put them on a platform not understanding them to sell his garbage is, is really discouraging. And the only reason I didn't want to make this video is because this guy has hundreds, literally hundreds of social media workers that are monitoring comments, making sure he doesn't get called out for this stuff, making sure no one mentions my name on, on the, this stuff. So it might be very difficult and it, it's also very possible that none of this gets exposed. Who knows if someone helps me out and picks this up, but the past three times I called this guy out, no one seemed to care. And I've told you guys many times about why I'm here. I don't care about money. I don't care about views. Obviously this guy does if he's suing me to try to shut me up. And if what I was telling wasn't the truth, why would he sue me? But if someone else is gonna use my ideas, try to steal my audience, my prospective audience, sell their fake bull crap without knowing half as much about nutrition, I have to say something about it. And this is one of the reasons I will probably be leaving the carnivore diet very soon. I mean, there's no point now. I've already published as much information as anyone could want, and they have arguably years and years and years of information to copy. Uh, but it disgusts me to even be associated with these people anymore. Every other video I make, I see someone else spouting the same exact words two, three months later, except they're getting hundreds of thousands of views, selling snake oil, no one seems to remember Frank Tefano, or possibly they're removing the comments of people mentioning me. And these opportunities have been stolen from me. And that combined with the greed, the lawsuits against me, is inhibiting my ability to make as many people as happy and healthy as possible. So one thing that's going to be necessary over the next few months, year or two, is to make sure everyone knows who Paul Saladino really is and get this guy to work a real job.
Thank you.